Okay, so these are four tabs. The first one I'm going to do is collinear. Now, the key, what I was trying to get you is, in this new term is the word linear. Okay, do y'all remember linear? What does that indicate? A line, right, exactly. And if you look right here, there's the word line right there, okay? So the definition for collinear, write this down in your foldable, please, is points on the same line. Points on the same line. And I'm going to stamp this one. It's going to be our next entry. we got hopefully two entries and then a practice. So in the example, they want us to illustrate, if it's just a capital letter, it's indicating a point. So they want us to illustrate points P, A, and M are collinear on line R. So because they've named the line R with the lowercase, that's a subscript, we're going to start off with just indicate a line. You have to have arrows. So we start off a line. It doesn't matter if it's increasing or decreasing. Just get a line, meaning you have double arrows. This is line R, so you put the R next to the arrow to name it, okay? Now we're going to put points P, A, and M on the line because if it's collinear, they're on the same line. So I'm just going to put a point, label it P, then another point A, then another point M. So draw an example of collinear points. Okay, draw a line R, make sure it has double arrows and has the R next to it, and then points P, A, M are on the line. Okay, so that's collinear. So then if I were referring to non-collinear, what do you think that's going to mean? Yeah, not points not on the same line. Okay, so points not, add that to your tab, please. Points not on the same line. I don't do that, which I need to do. So points not on the same line. So when we, oops, what did I do with it? Where's over here? Maybe it's not over here. So we're going to draw an example of points not on the same line. So we can start off with our original line, line R. So draw a line and name it line R. All right, so we're going to have points A and B collinear, but C is not. So A and B, guys, A and B are collinear. And C is non-collinear. So that means I need to put point C, it can be here below the line, or I could put it above the line. But it cannot be on the line. All right, do we have non-collinear? No. Come on, Joe. All right. Yes or no? All right. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go to coplanar, bottom left. Coplanar are points that are on the same plane. Points that are on the same plane. Okay, so to indicate a plane, to draw a plane, you're going to need a parallelogram. Okay, 
Now, one way we can name a parallelogram, I mean a plane, excuse me, is with three non-collinear points or a subscript. So, like, what I'm going to do is in my parallelogram in the corner somewhere, I'm going to put a subscript letter. So, this could be plane X. Okay. So, to show points on the plane, they have to be inside my parallelogram, okay? So if I want to show my points A, B, and C, I'm going to go ahead and label them, are coplanar, they must be inside the parallelogram. And then our last one is non-coplanar. Okay. Points that are not on the same plane. Okay, so first start off with your plane. Draw your parallelogram. I'll make this plane T. Okay. Then we're gonna have points coplanar. So we're gonna have we need to have points on the plane. I'm gonna do L and M. To show P is non coplanar. L and M has, has to be inside the parallelogram. P cannot be. So I'm just going to draw an arrow and show that this is the example. This is your non coplanar point. All right, so the inside is us practicing our understanding of these terms. Anyone still need this one? All right, so let's go to practice. Here we go. They want us to answer and explain. All right, so the first is our points F, and I'm just going to highlight them. Points F, A, and Y, coplanar. So here's my F, there's my A over here, and then this is my Y. Would those three points be coplanar? What does that mean? No. They're not on the same line. Wait, no, they're not on the same, not the same line. Same, same they're plane. Non, they're yeah, they're non-coplanar. So this would be no. Mm -hmm. Let me get my pen, sorry. Yay. This is a no, and then this would be because they are non coplanar. Okay, they are non coplanar, and I'm just just abbreviation for because A is not. Stop talking, please. A is not on the same plane. F and Y, they are on the plane that contains right here, plane M. So let me fix that. 
this parallelogram here, and I know it's at an angle, contains F and Y. Okay. Do you see how A is not even on plane K? It's just out in space. All right. Now, would F and Y be collinear? Um, or non collinear? All right, so this is kind of a tricky question because if I'm talking about on the plane M, okay, let me show you what could happen here. There exists, through any two points like that, there exists a line that goes through them. Okay, yeah. Okay, so by definition, okay. By definition, there exists a line with any two points. By definition, there always exists a line with any two points. Now, if I'm looking at F, R, and B, so now they want us to focus on, I probably should get another color here. F, here's R over here, and then M, B down here. Are those coplanar or non coplanar? Okay. Who proves it to be non? You're right. What makes it non coplanar? B, yeah, B is not in the green box for me. Okay? B is not in the green box. Now, are they collinear? Yes, yes. Okay, so this is uh, non coplanar. Okay. And then our ex explanation would be oops, what, planar is that B is not on plane M. Okay. All right, and then our last one. What is it? Yeah, they are collinear. Hopefully you can see they are on this line, this vertical. This whole, uh, vertical line, so this would be collinear. All three points on the same line. Okay, so in our spiral, we should have a green foldable. Okay, then um, I think it's uh, it's gonna be this white foldable, and then we're gonna get a, another table that we're gonna do. All right.